you spend your life, time and money kissing everyone else's desires? Is now the time to create your life from the pleasure of being a woman? A goddess is a woman who's reclaimed her divinity and potency and discovered it inside her own being. She knows it. She lives it. Goddessness is her way. Get ready to embrace the beauty of your goddess within. Here is the host of Turn On Your Goddessness, Goddess Mentor, Yurira Guzman. Hello, goddess. Welcome to this, that is your show. Welcome, everyone. I'm so happy you are here with me tonight. I'm in the beautiful Bozeman, Montana, and I'm so happy that I'm here after two weeks of being in out of the mountains because I was I was in an island. I was enjoying summer, but hey, being a goddess needs uh, requires to, to to go back home and work. So let's let's get to work and then let's create our lives in a with different vibe, with different energy and with many, many questions and with all that space that we can create when we are in a goddessness space. So this is a show for you who, are, uh, if you're looking for that, that space, that, that force, that power that you are, and you know that you are all those things, but sometimes we just lose this space, we lose our focus, we lose what we had in one moment and we just feel like, hey, and this is not being fun, this is not being easy, this is not working for me, oh my God, and then we go to the drama and you know, I'm, I'm Mexican, I know about drama. I am a professional drama queen. I know everything. So if you think you know something about drama, hey, bring it on because I'm going to tell you something bigger than that drama. I know about that goddess and I just have fun with that. I know I, I have a lot of drama. I make a lot of drama in my life, but now I'm doing it just because I can, just because I know I'm doing drama. Sometimes it's very, very funny and I just enjoy that time but I'm not living my life into the space of drama I'm living my life into the goddessness and in order you of you being in that space you have to choose many things and I've been working with thousands of women around the world for the last 10 years um about just being empowered, but no empowered since from this space of separation, but from this space where I am in communion with everything there is in my life. Other people, um, my finance uh, world, my um, family, my relationships, the planet, the elements of the planet, the spirit world. So everything that is included in your life, you can just embrace everything and be you and realize and look at you like the person, like the goddess you are and start creating your life like that. That's the invitation that I have for you every week in this show. I want to give you tools. I want to give you inspiration about what you are able to do if you choose it. What is the life that you, you, you can have, that you can enjoy even when things are not showing up in the way that we think they should. So that is what it brings the topic from tonight show and is how to be a goddess on a dime how to get there just get there and be again the goddess because hey we all have these times when everything seems to be falling apart 
things are not working in the way that they used to work, or we're working too much, <laughs> or we don't have enough time or enough money or enough whatever, or enough sex or enough something. And we are start getting into that. I'm not enough. I don't have enough of this. I'm doing something wrong. And we start just contracting our world. And instead of getting out and expand and be bigger and start creating from the big being that you are, we just get very small and we keep there just, you know, um, Bitching, I want to say that <laughs> about our, um, our uh, elections, uh, choices, and about everything. So what is that that is making your life uncomfortable today? That you don't feel like you are a goddess. You don't feel like you are creating your life as the goddess you are. You don't... You don't understand what is going on and, and you don't understand why people that are around you or that you love, they are choosing certain things that they are not making your life easier. Um, I can tell you this because I didn't have in time the last, I don't know, eight months or a year or maybe a little more than that that um, I have this challenge and it's not about what I'm creating in my life, but it's something that people that I love are creating. And those choices and creations are hitting my, my world or I'm allowing those choices just to change the energy of everything that I'm creating. And I've been just judging myself for allowing these energies to get in my life and just like feeling like I'm a failure and feeling like I can't do things anymore. Like I am not as strong as I thought I was like, oh my God, I thought I could manage better when someone that I love passed or um, when I... I lose a relationship that I, I thought it was a real friendship and well, it results it's not, or things are not going in the way that used to go in my business or whatever. It's, I can, I can make you a list. I, I told you, I know about drama. So I can do the list and go through it and tell you all my drama and how I manage that drama. But that's not the show of tonight. Um, I know about those spaces and I know how to get out of those spaces. I know the space of frustration, very good. I know the space of be angry and know how to get out of it. I know the space of feeling a failure mm -hmm. and I know how to get out of it. I know the space of feeling like I, I am nothing close to a goddess, but I know how to get out of that space and being again in the space that is my space. Because every time that something gets you out of your goddessness, something that is going on in your life, you're just refusing to be yourself. You're refusing to be who you truly, really are. And you become someone else. Maybe you become the expectations of someone else, like in the way that you're reacting to those things. Or maybe you are just being someone else to cover what is going on in your life instead of just being you, staying in that space that is you. And from that space, 
continue creating your life. And this is something that opened my eyes in the last maybe a month. I was talking with a friend about all the drama in my life lately, and I had a lot. So let's say we had a lot of conversations <laughs> or a long conversation because I had a lot to say. And uh, in one point, she asked me, and okay, but um, you're telling me about the problems with you know, your mom or your siblings or your dad or the health of someone or um, the illness of your brother or your brother passing um, away or maybe the that you can't travel to the country that he used to live just to get the, the remains or whatever. Um, but okay, I get that. And how's your life? And I was like, uh, I'm just, I was telling you. And she's like, no, how is your life? How are you? Know how is all this drama that is going on? Like, oh yeah, the business or this. It's like, how are you? How have you been? And that question opened up a lot for me. Because then I realized that, yes, I have a lot of things going on in my life for choices that people around me and I, yeah, is going on. I can't, I, I can't do anything um, about my mom dying or my brother dying or my father getting cancer or whatever. I can't, really, I can't do anything about it. Uh, but I'm choosing what I'm doing as an effect of all that. And in that moment, and I know maybe you are smarter than me. Hey, I have years of uh, working with consciousness and my awareness and using tools and whatever. And believe me, it was the first time I understood that. I was like in a oh moment, like, oh, I can't believe I was doing that. Absolutely. I'm creating the way that I feel in my life. Not because I created that my mom died or I created the illness of my dad. I didn't, but I am creating what I'm doing with all that information. And then is how I am creating my life. Huh? Yeah, I know I need just special effects here. I need like a bomb. <laughs> this, this is a moment for like effect of a bomb. Um, yeah, and maybe you know this and maybe you are aware of that. Um, you're brilliant. And sometimes I feel like I'm not that brilliant. I, I, I'm pretty, I'm good looking, but sometimes I'm not very brilliant. I don't realize this kind, I don't have this kind of awareness uh, that often. <laughs> Or it takes me time. Or I was, I was just wondering, like, oh, I've been just working for years about my awareness, about who I am, about what I'm creating, about my choices, about how to choose and how to create from consciousness. And I'm just missing that big part. So how to be a goddess on a vine? That is the topic of today's show here and turn on your goddessness. Remember, I am Yurira Guzman. I'm your goddess mentor. And we are here at Inspired Choices Network. Let's go for a break. And I will be here with you after the break. There is a different way to live, create, and thrive in the world. This is the time to turn on your goddessness. A goddess is a woman who's reclaimed her divinity and power who's discovered it inside her own being. She knows it. She lives it. Goddessness is her way. 
Yurira Guzman is a goddess mentor and a wizard in relationships who guides you on the exploration of the goddess that you are in a space of no judgment, full of possibilities, where you will be able to potentialize everything that you haven't even discovered yet about your creative energy, sensuality, and your feminine superpowers. Are you ready to embrace your goddessness? Listen for Turn On Your Goddessness Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, 7 Mountain, 6 Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Are you a subject matter expert? Are you here to share your expertise with an audience waiting to hear from you in only the way you can deliver? Are you ready to have your voice amplified across the airwaves? Inspired Choices Network has a global radio platform streaming to millions of people across the world. Professionally produced and supported by an accomplished team every step of the way, you can broadcast from anywhere in the world knowing your voice matters and we ensure it is delivered with ease and efficiency. Eager to hear your message, the world awaits. Contact us today to become an Inspired Choices Network radio host. Email become a host at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. This is Turn On Your Goddessness with Yurira Guzman. To participate, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask or comment by email by sending to yuriraguzman at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back, goddess. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for being here today and turn on your goddessness. Uh, my name is Yurira Guzman. And today I am exploring with you how to be a goddess on a dime. And I'm loving what Christine, my amazing, amazing production, uh, producer, production uh, growth in the chat it is easy to be a goddess in easy days a real goddess stops steps up when it's not easy and that is so true it is easy to be a goddess when when you think that you made it hey i made it I have the body that I want. I want the relationship that I want. I want the, I have the, the body. I have the money. I have the, the house that I want. I made it. Hey, I made it. I, I, I don't need anything else. And some days you, you have these good days that you feel like you made it. And then there are other days that you feel that you're not anywhere and there are so much that you need still to do. And those days when you, when you feel like it's not the easiest time of your life, when it's not the easy day, when it's not a easy month, when it's not a easy year, <laughs> That is the moment when a real goddess just step up, embrace everything that she is without quitting her goddessness and continues creating her life. So how to do it? how to be a goddess on a dime. And I'm not going to tell you how to dress or what is the makeup that you need or the nails that you have to have in your life or the heels or the, or the body or the first class airplane ticket just to feel like a goddess because all that, you can have all that. And you're not going to be a goddess if you are not aware of who you are and the potency, the power, and the brilliance that you are. I know many people that have all, all those things, 
and they don't know who they are. And they are now living a goddess, a goddess life. They are living a luxury life. That's not bad. I mean, I'm, I don't have anything against that. I want a luxury life. I love luxury things. And the most valuable thing in my life is my awareness and what I know. And yes, I want first class airplane tickets and I want a vacation in Maui. And yes, I want all those things. And I want all those things with my awareness and with everything that I am and with everything that I know. So how to be that? It doesn't matter how you look or how you think you look. <laughs> the most important thing is, do you really know who you are? And do you apply that knowledge for everything that you're choosing? Or do you just pretend that you're a little, little tiny thing in this universe? And, are you just choosing from that space? My first tip about how to be a goddess on a dime is remember who you are. And we do that in many different ways. I can tell you how I am. I do that. But I invite you to know what is the way, your own way to remember, to make you remember, to remind you who you are. Who you are. Those, that space, when you really make that question and it's like, okay, who am I? Beyond everything that is going on in my life, beyond everything that I'm creating, beyond everything that I'm choosing and maybe it's not working that good or I don't feel comfortable with that or I don't like it, who I am. And I love to write down those, those things. And when I'm inspired, I write, write many, many things. And then I keep that. And when I have that bad days, I just use it to remember who I am. I am more than the daughter of my parents. I am more than the person that has a professional title. I am more than the sister of my siblings. I am more than the person that pays taxes, who I am. And sink into that energy, who am I? And when you have that energy, just allow that energy, that space to cover you, to give you a hug and do you know, I found out something very interesting. I shared with you before that my mom died last year in August. And I realized that I was very nostalgic for something. I mean, I understand that death is not the last step and uh, is not the to finish anything, but I was like, why am I so sad? What I'm so nostalgic, what is, what is that? And I found out something. I was missing the hugs of my mom. And my mom had this energy when she used to hug every of uh, me or my siblings, that it was like, I just, I just want to love you. And I'm here just to, just to hug you, just to be with your body, just to say I'm here. 
and nobody is hugging me in that way but me. So when I make the question of who am I is, and I get the energy and I get like, allow that energy to grow in me and I sink into that energy for me is like uh, my mom's hugs. So maybe for you is something different. Maybe for you is um, something, a, a different space or a different energy. But if you get into that energy, that gives you that um, space that we need sometimes we, did, we don't feel like we are all that potency and all that power and all that brilliance that we truly are. It's just sinking into the energy of you are choosing that energy instead of choosing the energy of, I am not good enough. This is not going to work. I'm never going to get there. Oh my God. Huh? So get into that energy, asking yourself, who am I? Really, who am I? And then a second thing that you can do is to find out what is more uncomfortable for you in this moment. Maybe you have a list of things, like I, 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 I have, of uh, uh, things that are not working, things that you need to work with, and um, people that are just, uh, they are choosing silly things and you, you are the effect of that, whatever. Make exactly a list of all those things and choose what is the that one that is just pinging you so hard that it's just calling your attention and it has an effect of everything else for example if what is bothering me and making me so uncomfortable is not being able to help um, with my dad's health Let's get that example. I get that that is what is really bothering me and making me very, very uncomfortable. Okay, I get what is, that is what is making me uncomfortable and it's affecting other areas of my life. So maybe I'm argue, arguing more often with my husband, but because I'm angry, because I can't really help or change the health situation or helping with the health of my dad. So I get that energy and I spray that energy, energy in many other areas of my life. Or maybe that energy is not helping me to create my business or having enough, um, being enough um, present with my creations or with my finance uh, statements. I don't know. It's just what is affecting, what is being affecting for that? That is your biggest, biggest uncomfortable thing. And once that you know what is that, do something to change it. Once that you know what is there, then you have the awareness, you know, then you have to choose to change it. It's not going to change just because you know, oh, oh, I know what is bothering me. No, you need to do something to change it. You need to choose to change that. So, what are you doing to change those things or that thing that is bothering you or is making you so uncomfortable in your life? And I am leaving you with that question because I am going to a break. And remember, this is turn on your goddessness 
I am Yurira Usman, and today we are exploring how to be a goddess on a dime here in Inspired Choices Network. I'll see you after the break. There is a different way to live, create, and thrive in the world. This is the time to turn on your goddessness. A goddess is a woman who's reclaimed her divinity and power, who's discovered it inside her own being. She knows it. She lives it. Goddessness is her way. Yudira Guzman is a goddess mentor and a wizard in relationships who guides you on the exploration of the goddess that you are in a space of no judgment, full of possibilities, where you will be able to potentialize everything that you haven't even discovered yet about your creative energy, sensuality, and your feminine superpowers. Are you ready to embrace your goddessness? Listen for Turn On Your Goddessness Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, 7 Mountain, 6 Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. How wonderful would it be to carry your favorite Inspired Choices Network host with you throughout your day? Well, now you can. Inspired Choices Network now has its very own mobile app. Our free app offers live streaming shows along with thousands of podcasts and TV episodes. Our shows cover a wide variety of topics. Whether you're waking up with us, carrying us through the day, and taking us to bed with you, we're always here for you to enjoy. We're easy to find. Just search for Inspired Choices Network in the Apple App Store or Google Play Store. This is Turn On Your Goddessness with Yurira Guzman. To participate, join our live studio audience in our chat room at inspiredchoicesnetwork.com. You can also ask or comment by email by sending to yuriraguzman at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back, goddess. Welcome back, everyone. Thank you for being here and turn on your goddessness with Yurira Guzman and Inspired Choices Network. I'm so happy with the topic that we have tonight, that is how to be a goddess on a dime, just like that. How to recover that space of I am a goddess and no, I am a piece of barbecue or whatever you feel sometimes so you are a goddess everyone every woman everyone is a goddess it's just that some of us forget about it sometimes for a day sometimes for a lifetime and it's just about to remember who you are and i told you how I do it, uh, how I remember who I am and what is for me. So if you didn't listen that part of the show, I am inviting you right now to go to the other segment and listen to it because maybe you can find some similarity to what you can do. And remember this show is about you is about what is, going, what is going on in your life, what is going on in the life of a, of a goddess. Um, and I would love to know if anything that I'm saying right now just has some clicking for you. If it's, you feel that um, you have been feeling the same way, you sometimes you don't feel like a goddess, how do you recover that space that who you truly are and the potency and the brilliance and the beauty that you are, how you do it. I would love to, so, to know. So please send me a comment, comment here, whatever you're listening or watching this show, comment here, how you do it. What, what did you do to go back to the space of your goddessness and go back to the space of who you are? like the beautiful, amazing, potent woman that you are. After all those, those times when 
everything seems like it's not getting in the right direction in your life. So let me know and I will just, I'm looking forward to know what are your tools, what do you do and inspire other people to find um, their own way to go back to the goddessness. You can send me an email. You can comment here. You can go to my Facebook or Instagram and say, hey, I hear your show, your show about uh, the uh, goddessness, how to become a goddess uh, on a dime. And just tell me, I, this is what I do. I would love to know. And I will share here if you um, comment that in any of my social media or sending me an email to yuridaguzman at gmail.com. I would love to listen. I would love to know because this show is about you and it's about what is going on your, in your life. And if you are struggling with something, if there is something that you want to bring to the table, just let me know. And there is always ways that you can, I can tell you if there is any video that you can go and, and watch or any audio that you can go and listen or any class that I have maybe in YouTube uh, that you can go and have as a reference if, if you want some guidance uh, from me. And you can choose two to work with me. There are many ways if you want to work with me and find how to be a woman, uh, goddess on a dime, how to be you and recover everything that you are. There are many ways. You can have a one-on-one -on -one session with me. We can see if it's what is convenient for you, if it's just one session and we can make uh, a plan for three or five, se five uh, sessions, depending on what, what's going on in your life and what, do, what are you requiring at that moment. But you can have classes with me. Uh, and very soon, I'm going to have a summer boot camp. I love that. And it's just two weeks. We're going to do it uh, through your phone, to, through an app, app that is called WhatsApp. So you're going to receive in your phone every day one tool through a video or audio or a meditation or a conscious exercise, whatever tool I'm going to give you to work during that day. And then at the end of the week, on Saturday, we're going to have a live class for 90 minutes where I can facilitate anything that is going on in your life. Anything that is there um, for you, you can come live and we, we're going to explore a lot of tools. And this is two weeks and I know because every time that I do a boot camp using these tools, I seen all the changes that people do in their lives, how they recover what they were losing when they they thought the life was not the life that they really wanted, and they start just shrinking, and how they recover their space that they are and they start making choices that are bringing the life that they really want closer to them so this is something very fun and easy to work and you you get the tools and and you're gonna keep it forever and you're gonna keep my voice forever don't you love my voice I love my voice I think it's great so yeah Come and play. Ask me if you are interested. I can send you the link uh, on my website to see more information. And yes, it's going to be in English. And I have another bootcamp that I'm going to make it in Spanish for all the Spanish speakers. So choose. Maybe you want to be in the English one. Maybe you want to play in Spanish. Up to you. What else is possible for you? Everything is possible, right? And the tools 
our energetic energetic pool uh, tools and hey energy doesn't have any language it's just energy so you can get that and when I love yeah Christine is uh, is telling us how she got into that space of godliness I love that I give myself pleasure mm. Pleasure with, <laughs> with my heart, pleasure with my body, pleasure with connecting with another. Yes, pleasure, any kind of pleasure is welcome. That is, I love that. When we allow, even when we're in those moments that everything is just hard and difficult and we feel like we are lost, um, being open to have pleasure that is really a goddess tool because do you notice that when you are in that space you don't want to eat you don't enjoy the food that you want you don't want to have sex you're kind of depressed you're like uh. but when you are open it's like okay yes I'm open to receive something different than this pity energy of put of me nothing is working oh I knew I knew this this will be very hard for me I'm not strong enough and we're in that space we're not enjoying we're not open for pleasure so I love that open yourself to receive pleasure with everything with your body, with everything that you're listening, with everything that you are um, eating, with the clothes that you're using. You know, I find that um, it changed my energy when I have my pajamas. And even when they are very comfortable, the energy that they give me sometimes when I feel very down, there is not the energy that I need in that moment. I need something that makes me feel like, hey, I look hot. I feel hot. Even if it's just like lipstick or whatever, it doesn't have to be something big or expensive or uh, crazy. It's just about what, what can make you feel that you are you. What can rem remem making you remember what makes you happy? What makes you be you? What makes you being silly, funny, um, brilliant, everything that you are. So I share with you some of my tools that I use every time that I don't feel like as a goddess and I really I really want to be a goddess because I know that when I I am the goddess that I I truly am I can just enjoy my life I can do my business better I can facilitate my classes better I can have better sex I can cook better. I eat just so good when I'm a goddess. I drink with so much pleasure. I am just, I start making more money. So that's why I love to be in the space of my goddessness. When I am of that, I am out of that space. I just, it's something that I can see immediately in my bank, bank account. I don't know how that works, but it works that way my money starts to shrinking like my energy. My relationships start just being a little chiquita, shrink, small, because I am being smaller than I am. So I'm receiving less because I'm smaller. I'm, I'm, I'm just in that space of I'm very little. So that is what I'm inviting you to do today. And we're going to go to another break. We're going to go to another break and, hey, turn on your goddessness. 
being a goddess on a dime. We are an Inspired Choices Network. See you after the break. There is a different way to live, create, and thrive in the world. This is the time to turn on your goddessness. A goddess is a woman who's reclaimed her divinity and power, who's discovered it inside her own being. She knows it. She lives it. Goddessness is her way. Yurira Guzman is a goddess mentor and a wizard in relationships who guides you on the exploration of the goddess that you are in a space of no judgment, full of possibilities, where you will be able to potentialize everything that you haven't even discovered yet about your creative energy, sensuality, and your feminine superpowers. Are you ready to embrace your goddessness? Listen for Turn On Your Goddessness Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, 7 Mountain, 6 Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. This is Turn On Your Goddessness with Yurira Guzman. To participate, join our live studio audience in our chat room at InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. You can also ask or comment by email by sending to yuriraguzman at gmail.com. Now back to the program. Welcome back, goddess. Welcome back, everyone. This is Turn On Your Goddessness. I am Yurira Guzman, and today is the show is How to Be a Goddess on a Dime. Just like that. Just to go back to the space of being a goddess and forget about the space of being a little lady, you know, tiny little lady. Be a goddess. Be everything that you are. And be, be all that exuberant um, space that you are. And I'm laughing with it. If you are watching me, you know, I was laughing. I was smiling. I had a big smile when I, I said uh, uh, abundance um, because I was, I was in my vacations last, last week and um, I said sometimes words, you know, English is not my first language. So sometimes I mix, I mix things and I say to to my husband something and um and and he was laughing and say you know you sometimes make up words that have all the energy that i understand what you want to say and um and <laughs> but it's not a word so <laughs> sometimes that happens when i'm talking <laughs> even in spanish that is my first language um i just get the energy and i say something so i bet you got the energy of everything i'm saying sometimes i'm making up words but hey it's the energy and if my husband hey a man can understand a no word but the energy you got it you can do it better because you can do it. Believe me, you can do it. So yes, this is um, Turn On Your Goddessness. So everything that every week I bring to the table with you is about you and your goddessness. So every show I'm going to talk, I'm going to say something that is about you and the goddess that you are. And there are many, many tools many things that you can do to change your life or doing making your life bigger. If you are a goddess, you want everything in abundance. You want everything in big scale. You want big money. You want big pleasure. You want a big life. You want everything big. You, you are a woman that loves the abundance of life. And if you are not in that space yet, it's because you're judging that, that you are. 
And that happened for me many times when I, I used to say, I don't like jewelry or I don't like anything that is big. I don't like anything, you know, as I, I want something very discreet, very tiny, very little. Hey, because I was, I, I, I was working in consciousness, in awareness, in energy healing. I, I didn't supposed to be attracted for shiny things, but I, I always attract for shiny things. I love, if it's shiny, I love it. If it's big, I love it. <laughs> it's, I love all the shiny things. I'm just in love with everything that is shiny, glowing, sparkles. Um, but I didn't allow myself to, to say it out loud or even use it. And hey, you can see my earrings. You can see, I, yeah, I love it. And I use it now and it's part of me. But this is a small example of, Sometimes we're not choosing what we really, really want to choose just because it's too much. So if you're feeling that you're too much, you are right. You are too much. And that is phenomenal. That is amazing. That is a big gift to this world. We love, nature loves what is too much because nature, this planet is too much. Everything is too much. So welcome to the world of a goddess where everything is too much. Everything is big. Everything is abundance. Everything is just powerful. You are all that if you choose it. And if you don't know how to choose it, listen again this show because you're going to find how to be a goddess on a dime like this, just with a choice, because you are a goddess. You don't need to create yourself as a goddess. It's not an image. It's not a, a, a person that you're creating. It's you. It's the energy that you are. You just need to go and see who you are, embrace it, and just start living your life from that space. I know it sounds very easy, and maybe sometimes it's not that easy, but when it gets a little hard, remember, you can be a goddess on a vine. You just need to choose it. And there are tools that you can use. And every week, every week I'm gonna share with you tools that I know, that I use to create my life from that space of goddessness, of potency, of possibilities, not from limitations, not from judgments. And I hope I can have, I can be honored with you in my next show. Next week is going to be a show in Spanish. So you can come and practice with me in Spanish and see if you feel the energy and make questions in English. And I'm going to say, I'm going to answer in Spanish because that's the, that's the game, right? So come practice your Spanish with me and get the energy. Like, just like the goddess, just as the goddess that you are. And after next week, we're going to have another show in English. So you have here a lot of material a lot of information about you and your goddessness. And remember, it doesn't matter where you are in your life right now. The only thing that matters is that you can choose to be a goddess, the goddess that you are. And I'm thrilled to be here with you for seeing what you're choosing, for seeing what you're creating, and just for me, be part of the journey that you're choosing to live. Thank you so much for being with me. See you next week. Bye-bye. Thanks for listening to Turn On Your Goddessness. Yurida returns next Wednesday at 9 p.m. Eastern, 8 Central, 7 Mountain, 
6 Pacific on InspiredChoicesNetwork.com. Have a delicious week and keep creating your life, embracing your goddessness in everything you choose to do and be.